Hey everyone, it's Cheyenne, and welcome back to Deep Night Detective. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> As you can tell, definitely still sick. Excuse you. Definitely still sick. But I'm getting better. Slowly. But surely. Hopefully I'll be better soon. I really don't like being sick. Uh, it's mainly just a cough and some sinus stuff and, well, you know, obviously not having a voice now. But hopefully I will be better soon. Fingers crossed. Without further ado, let's get into it. Book one, Sympathy for the Devil. Are you sure you can't tell me anything else regarding the case? I've given you all the relevant information I have, Mr. Spooky. How about some irrelevant information? I'm not going to try to do the voices right now because oh, it's, it's not going to work. Well, I could try to do the butler. With respect to Mr. Spooky. Yeah, no, that's not working. That's not good. <laughs> you are a member of the private sector. I should hope you not insist that I infringe upon my employer's privacy. Privacy. Fine. So what you're giving me is essentially the police you told you people have disappeared here. That's not a lot to go on. You're also free to investigate the home within reasonable limitations. If you believe that's not enough to justify your time, I'll make do. Thanks anyway, Mannheim. I pray that you not take it too personally. No sweat. We're solid. I'll take a look around. <coughs> Sorry. Right this way, sir. Hello. Pardon me, I say to the woman blocking the entrance to the southwest wing. Detective Spooky, mind if I slip by you real quick? Uh, hello there, Detective. Valerie Bordeaux. I'm afraid now might not be the best time. If you don't mind me saying, could you come back? <coughs> oh, God dang it! Uh. Why is that? Is it being fumigated or something? Yes, it's being, well... No, I mean, no, it's not being fumigated, but you can't go in right now. June is unwell right now. <coughs> the direct approach rarely works on a wilting violet like this one, unless you're willing to scare them off and upset the fragile ecosystem of a suspicious house. Valerie Bordeaux, you said. May I ask as to what your relationship with the, to the owners is? I, I'm a friend of June's. Abernathy. We've been close for some time now. My apologies, Valerie. I didn't realize the Abernathy's had company this evening. I'll try to be discreet. No, it's... It's not a problem at all, Detective. May I ask that you come by to continue your investigation later? I will return later, then. That was the reaction I was wondering about. She is ashamed of her relationship to June Abernathy, but is open about her closeness with her. This means she's likely a live-in house guest. Fascinating. Thank you for your time again, Miss Bordeaux. Mannheim didn't say anything about a sick wife. Interesting. Let's go upstairs. Hey, I could take my clothes off. A puppo! He can't see me. Why can't he see? Contrary to popular belief, Dogs cannot see ghosts. So wait, can I only be seen when I'm wearing a... Hey, Pooch. Aw, oh, how you doing, buddy? So, I can only be seen when I'm wearing my clothes. So can I get past her when I'm... No. Turn it. They can't see me right now. I'd better get my clothes back before attempting to talk to anyone. Oh, let's... Let's snoop around like this for a little while. Hmm. Oh, it's a ghosty goo. Uh. Ooh, wow, I'm powerful. Surely this here's... <clears throat> one of the proprietors of the house. This painting's been kept in immaculate condition, though. Wow. 
Okay, look. I know how tough it is to hold a smile for a whole painting, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't try. Huh. <laughs> this dude's face is funny. Do politicians ever try to not look like politicians? Or do you just start looking like that when you sign up? That's a good question. Oh gosh! I forgot what button I was supposed to use for a second. Oh, sorry. Oh yeah, who's a bad butt? I'm a bad butt. Don't ask me, I just didn't feel like cursing. What have I done? What have I done? Oh wait, I can jump. <laughs> Owie, I've been hurt. I, oh god, oh god, I've been hurt again. I've been hurt again. Uh. Okay, you know what? Uh, okay, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. <coughs> ah, god dang it. Everything's trying to kill me. Yeah, I'm dead. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, what's this? I died. I mean, you're a ghost, you're already dead. Again. And my clothes didn't come with me? I had better go get my clothes back before I speak to anyone else. Folks don't tend to cooperate well with the disembodied voices. Oh, come on. Hey, I should have gone through that door first, I don't know. Case no Ooh, what's this? Oh! Oh, that's cool. So that's how I save my game? Interesting. But I wonder if it'll still work with, um... Everything else. What's through this door? Okay, so this is the door I first came through. <clears throat> this goes to the front. Ooh! Ooh. <laughs> eh. Eh. Oh yeah. A painting of some lady. She doesn't have the cheeriest expression, does she? You'd think all this money would do more for one's disposition. Ooh, who are you? Oh wait, I can't talk to him right now. I'm not wearing my clothes. Oh god, this is so cool. I love this game so much already. I'm not even gonna lie. I approach a butler who seems to be guarding a wing of the manor. His eyes are narrowed and intense. I find myself immediately put off. Detective Spooky. I start off in a harsh, unyielding tone. I recognize his stare. I've been around the block a few times. I'm not letting him make an a single assumption about my work here. I've been hired by your employer to investigate the manor. I say with an authoritative edge. The special edge that I save in the pantry and only use when I've got company over. Wow, I love this game. <laughs> Can I get your name? Salazar, he says, his icy stare not shifting. I'm certain he's impressed with my poise, but doesn't want to appear over eager. I'm going to need you to step aside, Salazar, I respond. I'm afraid my employers have not given me word to allow you passage, detective. We have other locations that are, of course, open for investigation. I implore that you explore them. I'm going to require unprohibited access to the manor to complete my investigation, I say. A little more relaxed now that I know that my act isn't going to work. No, 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 no. It's almost a relief. It's going to be quite impossible, sir. He spits the words at me like he's offended, I'd ask. Damn. If I feel like keeping my job, what the butler says goes, at least for now. So, you're taking the chance that the murder weapon's not behind you then? Not really worried about obstruction of justice, huh? You've already determined that it's murder, have you, detective? I should have known better than to use that, an idiom like that in front of a pedant? Pedant? Can't say that I have. I haven't determined it's not. Give it up. I like having determined it's not. When you've made a determination, I assure you, I will be more than willing to assist you. Salazar gets off on this, I can tell. 
Giving you time to personally prepare to be cooperative with my criminal investigation sounds like something a professional would do, to be sure. I'll be back later, then. He scoffs under his breath at this. His pissant reaction gives me a stronger sense of... Oh god, that's a German word, and I should know how to pronounce it. Schadenfreude. Then my therapist would be happy with. I wonder if this guy ever gets a migraine pushing his brow down like that all day long. It's probably a possibility. What's in this room? This door doesn't go anywhere. At least not until the developer gets off his ass anyway. Yes! Oh, it's beautiful. What's in this one? It's locked, like a lot of doors around here. But it smells like a graveyard. Freshly mowed grass. Like rubbing alcohol and asphalt. Like death, somehow. That's probably not good. Uh, I keep forgetting what buttons, even though... This door doesn't go anywhere. At least not until the developer gets off his ass, anyway. Okay, so I can only go... This direction, I guess. Why do I keep... Doesn't go anywhere, okay. Alright, here we go. Let's try this again. God darn it. I, I'm going to defeat this thing. Ow, I jumped right into that. Okay, you know what? I'm not going to defeat this thing. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> oh, what the fuck are you? <laughs> I'm going to die again. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, this one's scary. Okay, not as scary as I thought it would be. <clears throat> Gimme. It's like a... I don't know. I don't even know what to call that. Okay, I can reach. Come on. Uh, uh, yes. Uh. Fight me! Fight me, you cow weird! Uh, I don't like the look of this. Oh, hello there, mate greets me in the darkness. Hey there, uh, could we hit the lights in here? This is about as bright as it gets in here. The plants need their heat lamps with old wiring in he with the old wiring in here. Turn on one light, another goes off. Gotcha. I respond. Name's Detective Victor Spooky. Mind if I ask you a few questions, Miss Friday? Pleasure. What can I help you with? Her voice is sweet and energetic. She's a little more open and forward than most maids. Her helpful, well-practiced tone reminds me of Susie's back home. Nice to meet you, Friday. So you're a maid here? I ask, not immediately noticing my redundancy. She responds, Nah, I just wear the outfit for fun while I clean. Thankfully, the owners pay me for it. I like your style. How long have you been a maid here? I ask her. Her eyes drift sideways for a moment and come back. It must be about two or three years now. I ask her in response, You must be familiar with the house and its residents then. She nods. Great, then I just have a few more questions for you. Uh... Valerie Bordeaux. What can you tell me about, I believe it's Valerie Bordeaux? Her brow drops a little, not enough to imply a disagreeableness toward Valerie, but enough to imply a shaky situation. Oh, uh, yeah, sure, I'll tell you whatever I can. Uh, any strong opinions? What are your personal thoughts toward Valerie? Oh, she says, I don't have any. I wish she would act like she lives here more and ask for stuff directly. She has June tell me stuff on her behalf a lot. That gives me a pause for thought. I wonder if she's a live-in guest, why Valerie wouldn't step up to the plate and act like a resident here. Well, Friday continues, she doesn't like to talk about her living situation. Maybe she came from somewhere bad before. Maybe she's afraid of overstaying her welcome. Who knows? Uh, regarding Val... Uh, she always this jumpy? If 
Friday's eyes perk up a little bit to catch the falling end of my sentence. Yeah, she's kind of a mess. Neurotic, I guess. So then this is, I hesitate to say the word, normal for her then. She's jumpier than normal. I've noticed it. So has everyone else, including June, I think. Great. Good info. Val and the owners. Valerie, is she a relative or... Friday averts her gaze for a moment as if she's unsure, as unsure as I am. No, she's not a relative, I don't think. Sh I think she's just a friend of June's. I ask her in response, what's her relationship to July? I've never really seen them in the same room together, actually. I don't think they have a relationship. I'm not sure that she knows, he knows she lives here. She says a little quietly, quiet, th 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 quieter than she's previously spoken. This catches my attention. So does she live here then? Oh yeah, definitely. She's always in the house. Often she's with June, sometimes she's not. She sleeps in one of the guest rooms. Confirmation. This makes things interesting. Valerie's easily here enough to be just as much a suspect as anyone else, ghosts included. Great, thanks for the info, Friday. On another topic. Uh, another question. Let's ask about Val uh, June and July. Sure, what would you like to know? June's health. I spoke to what's-her-name Valerie Bordeaux earlier. She offhandedly mentioned something about June, June Abernathy's health. Are you aware of any illness she may have contracted? Uh, she's careful with, about her words. She seems to rely on vocal affirmation before saying anything concrete. No, I've not heard anything, Detective. I'm sorry, I wouldn't know if June's sick at all. I nod slowly and mull over the idea that perhaps June is sick, but secretive about it. Alright, good to know. On another topic, and we're going to leave it here for today. That'll be all for now, Friday. Thank you so much. She perks up and gives me a wink before silently returning to her cleaning. Okay, so this is where we're going to leave it, partially because <clears throat> it's starting to bother my throat a little bit. Partially because I feel bad about coughing into the mic so much. I'm, it's just, ah, I don't like doing it. Um, I really do like this game. Um, and even though it's just a demo, I really think it's very good so far. Uh, and I can't wait to see what all it has in store, even just as the demo. Um, but without further ado, that's pretty much it for now. So I love you guys so much. Stay you. Believe in yourselves because you guys are absolutely amazing, and I mean that. Don't forget that. Don't forget to dance today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.